to me, the uh, sweat lodge means that um, you're purifying yourself, you're going back into your mother's stomach, and it's purifying your, your, your physical being, uh, your mental, your emotions. Uh, helps purify your body. We wanted to establish sweat lodges here on the campus because, um, you know, we know that out in the community there are a number of elders who still are doing their own sweat lodges. <laughs> uh, sweat lodges has been on school campus for about, I'm saying about uh, 12, 12 years. So when you go sweat, you can sleep really good for six hours or maybe eight hours. So in the morning time, you feel a lot better. And also, they say it's good for protection too. It protects you. They, they put the rocks in it, a couple pile, and then the first one, you, um, you pour water in it, spray that kind of like, kind of a lot of water. Then when you get the, when you get out, you you get really dizzy. I think there's only four rounds or five rounds. But those, those are the only rounds that I, I think I've been, yeah. And the fourth the fourth round is like really hot and it's like really sweaty. It's like you can't stand it. But for me, I just I just stayed in it, and so my uncle just helped me, and yeah. I think the sweat lodge is really good for younger people, the younger generations, because uh, from the elderly, they say the sweat lodge is really good for cleanse your body. Learned about how there are different. Uh, stages, there are like four different rounds that we would experience and how to even the, the heating up of the rocks, the stacking of the wooden logs with the rock and lighting the fire. What happens in, when we go inside of a sweat lodge is we go clockwise around our left and once we have ourselves settled in we start to introduce ourselves. She ya torn be out in she. Ki on is not touch it. But she's chin. Kill a chin. That's it. She don't that donny. That's not it. Once they're done, the medicine man, he introduces himself first and then starts teaching us the ways of the um, Navajo people and like telling us that we have to keep our ways. And uh, then he starts singing. And sometimes some people can sing along. The importance of a fire and a sweat is that it represents the sun, which is why it is always placed in the east. It also represents our ancestors to help us remember where our roots are from. People that utilize sweat bath or sweat ceremonies when they were ailing, when they um, took the bath, he came back out and later told how they uh, transformed in there. I find that it, um, it helps me in all kinds of ways. It helps me to remember to be humble. Uh, it's pretty hard to be there sweating and sweating and sweating and sitting on the dirt and not be humble. So, you know, it helps to remind yourself that you're not any better or any worse than anybody else cleansed in a way from the, you know, it's, it's, it's a feeling, you know, that we feel when we come out of the sweat. I, I, I saw it in, in the faces of our young guys. Well, I think it's a good, so that way the younger people can help utilize and make them understand uh, the, the Neff way, the culture way. At the end, one is purified in terms of uh, mind, body, and uh, spirit or focus.